So in today's video, I want to show you guys how cover four quarters works versus trips formations in Madden 22. So if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So uh, if you guys remember last year, if you guys rocked with me that long, um, I actually did a match series for Madden 21. So I'm bringing that back for Madden 22, but I'm doing a little bit different spin on it. So I may just do um, basically match coverage versus particular sets. So like a three by one, uh, two by two those type of formations so right now we're talking about a three by one so for those of you guys that might not know what three by one means uh essentially what three by one means so the formation um now i'll just pick the eagles at random and i pick the cardinals at random uh so i'm just looking for a trip so basically uh let's, let's see if they have like a trip tight end or something like that uh okay trip tight end offset which is a really really popular formation now three by one just simply means uh we have three they could be receivers or tight ends uh so notice how we have three uh receivers on this side and we have one uh technical receiver i know it's a tight end but they're still considered a receiver so we have a three by one set so that's what that means so that's what we're going to take a look at today um now it doesn't matter what play we come out in so we're just going to come out of pa crosser since it's a very very popular play now, uh, for defense, I'm actually going to be in big nickel. Now, if you're curious about the playbook I'm in, I'm in a Dolphins defensive playbook. Dolphins defensive playbook. Now, one thing I do want to say is this video is going to be very informative. So, please make sure you watch this video, rewatch it, uh, because you're going to learn a lot about how cover four quarters works. And again, this is not a video saying, hey, this is how you stop you know, three by one formation using it. That's not what this is. This is just showing you how cover four quarters works versus trip sets in Madden 22 or three by one sets, if you will. So uh, with all that said, uh, I want to show you kind of the personnel. Now, don't mind the D-line. I kind of just put some garbage players in here. Uh, well, I'll go put some more garbage people in here because I want to be able to have time to show you something. Uh, now, obviously, you would want to put your best players in, but I put in the worst players for the D-line because I need time. Well, I would like to have some time, you know. So um, I have speed right here, of course. You always want to have speed all around. That's basically all I'm doing to show you we have speed all around. Now, uh, I love to have auto flip on. It makes match coverage a whole lot easier because you're putting your strong player, which normally is your quarter flat player. So it's putting 33 to the strong side of the formation, which is how you would ideally want to play match coverage. Uh, so let's go to, not cover four palms, let's go to cover four quarters. That's what we're talking about in today's video. Like I said, this is going to be kind of a longer video, so I really need you guys to lock in. We're going to be talking about a lot of things uh, inside of this video. So, um... First and foremost, cover four quarters. How does it work, right? So essentially what's gonna happen is that this corner right here, he's going to be matched onto number one. So this is how it works, all right? So we have number one. Um, so basically, whatever side of the field you're reading, so uh, this cornerback right here is gonna be responsible for number one. From the left side, now this is number one, uh, this is number two, this is number three. Uh, the running back is going to be number four, and this is going to be number five. Now, if you're on this side of the field, then this is his number one. This is uh, his number two. This is his number three. This is, um, well, excuse me, they'll actually combo this. It just depends, um, and I'll show you exactly what that means. So it, it, it depends on what routes get ran, whether they combo what. Because notice how we have three, and then we have two, right? So they actually do a jo good job of comboing with these three. So to showcase exactly what I mean, what we're going to do, we're going to create our own four verticals. So we're going to take square, put him on a streak, triangle on a streak. We're going to take circle, we'll put him on a streak, and then we'll take X, put him on a streak, and then we'll take R1, and we'll actually, um, I got a mat over here. So we'll actually take R1 and actually put him on a streak. I didn't mean to motion him over. So uh, basically what's going to happen, actually we can still run, no, I want to show you, that's a, that's a two by two, so let's not do it that way. So anyways, let's talk about three by one. So with this kind of setup, um, essentially all of our blue zones are going to be occupied. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. So it's not the ball. So you kind of just pay attention to what goes on, right? So notice who matches where notice how everybody matches and that's exactly what we want. So notice how every single one of our blue zones actually got to match right there. So going into the replay, we're going to talk about what we've seen just now. So our number one corner went on their number one. So as long as number one goes past five yards, uh, he will actually match onto number one. So uh, it would man matches. So notice we get man matched here. Now, this safety up top, his main responsibility is number two. So if number two goes past five yards, he will actually man match that. So notice that. Now, number three, it just depends because the three rec is actually responsible for him. Now, uh, three rec just means he'll guard the third receiver. So notice how if we're on this side, we count one, 
two, three, right? So that's why he guards him. And even so, uh, notice how this is number one, this is number two, and then he's number three. So he's always going to be shadowing this receiver in trip set. So notice how he's going to back up because of receivers running vertical. And then what's going to happen is that uh, they're actually going to combo this. So um, if number two goes on a streak, a vertical, then they're taught that this number three right here, the safety, he's actually going to man match onto number three. So that's why you see him actually run with him that way. So uh, now number four, or technically this is number one, he's going to man match because that is his responsibility. His responsibility runs deep, so that's why he's running deep. So notice how all of our blue zones are actually man matched. And notice what's not being man matched right here, right? Except for uh, the running back, why? Because this is the flats responsibility, but that's not even man matched. So that's why you see these two, three zones. So this is the quarter flat, this is the three red, and this is actually the quarter flat. That's why those three zones are not occupied. So I know that was a lot to digest, but uh, in a nutshell, uh, we, I can actually show you exactly how those deep blues work. And I may have to divide up this video even further because this is a lot of information I'm about to give you, but it's gonna help you really be able to understand what, you, what your opponent is doing. And even if you wanna run cover four quarters, you'll be able to understand like, okay, this is why this person, you know, wide open this is why this is wide open he must be doing this kind of concept you'll be able to actually be a whole lot better of a match style player that's the whole point of this video now just to kind of showcase so let's put everybody back on streaks right so let's say what happens if they put the running back on the street now what's going to happen here is that your quarter flat is actually going to man match that running back why because the, the tight end is actually going out on the route and he's going past five yards which I'll showcase that here in a second, but uh, just to kind of show you what I mean, so what you're going to expect is watch the quarter flat, so notice how now the quarter flat's going to man it up, and then now we have a five-way man mat, so if there's ever five verticals, that's exactly what would happen. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, uh, what if they send the running back out, so uh, let me show you what I mean by that, so what if they motion the running back out and then actually have a streak, so notice who goes with them, notice that. It wasn't by accident that, that 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 guy went out there with him. So notice who went out there, the quarter flat, right? So watch what happens. So if we're going to snap the ball, watch how um, now that, okay. So that's actually something that's really cool that I didn't even know. So in theory, the way it's supposed to work is that your quarter flat is supposed to go with your running back. Now, if that stays true, um, so technically a matched out beater technically is this right here. So notice how we motion them out. Now, um, the reason this happens, I should say, is not by accident. So with motioning out the running back, guess who becomes the number one receiver now so he's actually going to become the number one so whose responsibility is it for the number one yep the quarter flat so he's so the cornerback is going to take him man coverage right so now who becomes his number two the tight end correct now since he's number two uh, let's look at this side he's supposed to be on number one number one goes straight uh, on vertical he takes him now number two he's taught to read him so essentially who is supposed to be on number three that's actually how you can bust this cover four quarters concept. Now, in real life, this would actually be absolutely bad in real life. Why? Because they would combo this. So he would just take him man coverage. He would take the number two. He would take that number three. And he would take this number four. And he would be on five. But since we're talking about Madden 22, this is how that works. So this is actually a perfect example to show you how rules can get canceled in match coverage. So uh, this is really, really good right here. So you can tell that's why he's open. So I just wanted you to give it to know the reason why this guy is actually running wide open is because of how Madden actually has the game. And again, that's because this became his number one. This became his number two, which is still his number two. This became supposed to be his number three, but you can tell uh, in real life, he, he would actually take him man coverage in real life because they're taught in verticals just to uh, take him man. Uh, or it depends on your specific scheme. A lot of times they'll combo that. It just depends. But that's why they match the way they do. Just wanted you to see that um, happen. Now, taking this a step further, um, like I said, I'll probably break this video up in two parts because I know this is a lot to digest. So let's actually take square, put them on a hitch now. We'll take triangle, put them on a streak. We'll take circle, put them on a streak. And we'll take X, put them on a streak. And we'll check our running back, put them in a flat. So you tell me what do you think is going to happen right here, right? So I'll tell you what I believe will happen. So since this guy is not running five yards he's actually going to play his responsibility so one thing you can actually i need you to understand is anytime your player um rules gets canceled so what i mean by that is notice how number one is not going deep then he's actually going to play the zone that you see out there so notice he's a quarter so he's going to play that quarter so he's actually going to keep backing up because that's his quarter responsibility this quarter flat now has a flat route out there so he's actually going to play that flat route now since number two receivers going vertical guess who's going with him right this safety is going to end up going number two. Now, this three rack is going to carry um, this uh, circle receiver. Now, since X is going on a streak, uh, this cornerback is actually going to match onto X, and he actually is going to match onto circle route because uh, circle becomes his number two receiver, if that makes sense. 
So let me see if I can show you that. So kind of watch what happens. Notice how it's exactly as we said. Everybody max higher is supposed to because that's the way cover four quarters is designed on that. So again, I'll kind of show you that just really quick. I know you've seen it, but we'll show you real quick. So notice how he's actually going to be like, oh yeah, that's not my responsibility. And then he's going to actually go and uh, get in his quarter responsibility. That's why he's kind of trailing it like this. Now, now he's responsible for number two. This is you see, he takes number three because that's his responsibility. Now notice how our vertical, our uh, three rec is going to carry the number three receiver. And then now our tight end, our cornerback is going to match onto his number one and our quarter flat is gonna play quarter flat responsibility. So that's exactly how that would work inside of that. Now, um, Couple things that you also can test out. So notice now, if we take square, put them on an out route, and we take them, put them on a streak, and we take X and uh, we'll take circle, put them on a streak, X on a streak, and then do the same exact thing. Now, what we want to watch here is what that corner does because that route is only ran at five yards. So kind of watch that left side corner and just see exactly how he responds. So notice how at five yards he actually does man match him. So it seems like the threshold for that is five yards. Um, but be very careful because sometimes um. I don't think I said be very careful because it actually is at five yards. So to test that out again, um, unfortunately we can't do like you know second and four, second and threes to kind of really see. But five yards seems to be the base principle I want to give you guys. So we're gonna take square, put them on an out route, and now we're actually going to smart route his out route to actually make it ten yards just to kind of show you. Um, now we'll take triangle, put them on a streak. We'll take X and actually put them on an out route this time. We'll take R1 and actually put him on a swing route. So what do you think is going to happen in this scenario? Right. So we know that our cornerback is going to take square. We know he's going to take square, right? And we know that this flat route, well, excuse me, not the flat route. We know that he's going to take the number two. And then circle now, uh, since our tight end is going out on the route, he's actually going to man match on the tight end. Now the quarter flat is actually going to uh, go out there with the running back, right? And so now what's going to happen is that number, he should man match number three. But if he doesn't, I'll tell you exactly why that is. But this is technically his responsibility to circle route. But it's something Matt's been having a problem with for years is actually letting them match correctly. And um, I'll kind of explain to you why that is actually in a second after I show you what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and snap the ball so I can show you exactly what happened. Now watch circle. So notice how here he does it man match, right? So you might be thinking, okay, it must be broken. Must not be able to play it correctly. And I'm going to show you why you can actually play it. Uh, well, why he does the things he does. So just like I told you guys, let's, let's start Let's start from this side, right? So we notice that he runs past five yards. So what does that mean? He's going to get man matched. Now, number two is actually going to man match him because he's running past five yards, which I'll put him on a different route so you just don't think it's just verticals that he's doing that with. Um, now, number three, like I said, we'll talk about that in a second, but this becomes his number three. So that's why he acts like he's going to guard him, but he doesn't. I'll show you why exactly he does that. Now, uh, let's take a look at this side. Now, this is the uh, cornerback's number one. So notice how he's going to uh, take that out route, right? So I know it doesn't look like he man matched, but when they turn their back like this, when they do this little animation, it actually means they're man matched onto him. Um, I know it doesn't look like it, but notice how he's trying to move and he actually goes with them. But uh, now he's going to slide out with the running back because that is his flat responsibility. So getting to this guy right here, and this is probably why I'll end the video at after this, because uh, I don't want to give you guys too much in one video. Uh, I'll probably break this down into parts so you can understand exactly what's going on. So uh, now with this guy right here, um, the reason he does this because when their match coverage gets canceled, then they're going to play the zone that you see. So he's actually going to be responsible for that quarter of the field. So notice how he doesn't match because his cover, his match responsibilities got canceled. So you might be saying, well, what does that mean his match coverage got canceled? So what I mean by that is, keep in mind, he plays the number two receiver. Why? Because he plays the number one receiver. So number one receiver goes out on the route, right? So number two receiver is this running back, but Madden has such a hard time with doing that, uh, with getting that right, because uh, what would happen, the bad thing that happened, the reason they don't have it that way, because if this becomes his number two, then um, basically you're going to have a busted coverage because this guy is going to come flying down. And a lot of times that can give up a one-play touchdown. And to kind of prove that this is his number two, uh, there's a couple things we do. But like I said, it gets really tricky with the running back because they th just don't respect it as much. So let's say we just do, um, let's say we do this right here and we take him and um, so now let's say we put the running back on a wheel right, right? So um actually we're gonna actually try to cancel this match coverage as well like i said it, it gets really technical because now this is actually a quarter flat responsibility is this wheel route and you're actually going to see that right here so watch the quarter flat so notice how he's going to take that and uh, he's going to actually man match that because what they're taught is that anytime the running back goes out on the route 
that quarter flat is going to take that running back man coverage. That's how they're taught, right? That's how they're programmed to do. So notice how uh, he goes out on the route. And like I said, they're, they programmed that just so like this scenario wouldn't happen because what would happen is that this guy would actually come down and then you could actually have this guy for like a one play touchdown basically. That's why they designed it that way. Um, but you can tell that's why that happened. So to kind of prove that that's true, that every time um, number one goes out and this is your number two, the quarter flat's going to take it. I'll prove that here by just uh, doing the same thing. But let's put them on a different route. So uh, let's do the same route concept. But now we're going to take R1. Let's say we put them on a swing left, right? So this is just to prove that that quarter flat's going to match him. So let's snap the ball, and I'll show you right here. So notice who actually goes with them, right? That's that quarter flat, just like I was telling you. So like I said, you can tell there, there is a whole lot with this video. Like there's a whole lot of information here, and I really don't want to over – I don't really don't want to flood you guys' brains too much. Uh, but like I said, it essentially – He's going to man match onto that because that is his number one. Now, uh, anytime the running back goes out on a the route, then um, the quarter flat is going. So basically, um, since he's man matched, essentially there's no there's no other flat defender, right? Well, there's no other flat route, correct? So he's the only one in the flats, but that's his man. So that's why they register his man because the way this guy registers it is like, okay, that's his man. He's man matched that. There's nobody else for me to cover, so now I man up. I man match number two. So that's why he's actually going to run with him. When in theory, it should be the safety up top that man matches that route. Uh, but they can't do that in real life. Um, so a lot of times they do combo it like this where they do this. But the problem with Madden has is when they combo it, they don't let this guy match number three like he's supposed to. They let him. They make him play his quarter responsibility. So that's why your match coverages get busted because of that principle right there. So if Madden could find a way to fix that, it would be golden. But you can tell right he's going to match him. Now um of course you've seen uh he's going to match he's going to match and I still want to show you triangle because I haven't put him on a streak this whole time. I haven't forgot about you guys. So let's say we do do something um let's say we do the same thing square on a streak right so let's say we take triangle put him on the out route small right is out route so now you should actually expect that the quarter flat and the number two up top is going to match that uh so now let's actually take a look at it and see what happens right so kind of watch that left side so notice how he's going to match him um actually he didn't match and that's because uh the quarter flat so like i said you can tell i wanted to break those up in two parts because it, it does get a little bit confusing i don't want to flood you guys brains too much uh but essentially if uh, all right so what i could do is take see this is where it gets hard i'm, I'm probably gonna do a part two because i don't want to i don't want to start giving you guys new information but essentially um i'll, I'll do that on part two but i just want to show you real quick that uh the reason that this quarter flat takes it he'll take it wherever so if we put him on a, a curl route watch what happens so notice how the quarter flat is now going to man match onto that and that's why that works that way so in today's video if you want a quick quick summary of what we learned we learned that if our zones don't if our zones gets match canceled then they're actually going to play the zones that you see and the blue zones are always going to man match they should always in theory man match any verticals so if there's ever a four verticals this guy would actually man match oh uh, now also we learned that he's responsible for the number two receiver uh so if the number two receiver runs around he's going to man match that uh it all depends on the set he's going to man match number three um in theory well he's going to carry number three he all, almost never man match he's going to carry it uh, so that's exactly everything that we learned. So that's gonna wrap it up for part one, man. I, um, let me know if you do enjoy this. And like I said, this is not a look. I'm showing you. I'm telling you to run this versus trips. That's not what that is. I just want to explain to you how match coverage works and how they have it programmed in Madden 22. And I understand that in real life it's not programmed this way at all. Oh, I'm not programmed in real life, obviously, but. You understand what I'm saying? Like, in real life, you know, there's things they do. Like, for example, the 3 rack would carry it to the safety. The safety would actually match it. You know, that kind of stuff. But Madden has a problem with it. Now, I just wanted you guys to see, you know, how match coverage can be good and also how it can be bad. So, I hope I did a great job. Like I said, this is just part one. and part two, I'll talk more about, you know, the quarter flat, the 3 racks, and, like, kind of what makes them, you know, dumb out in a sense. So, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video, though. I do hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm Rage Real. Thank you.